I saw these wall wood slats all over social media and I loved the look, but I couldn't find a decent review of them anywhere. So, because I'm a sucker for marketing, I used my hard-earned money, I purchased these wall slats, I installed them, and as always, I'm gonna give them my honest review. Let's get honest. So right off the bat, I love these wall slats. It is my favorite decor in my studio, and that is saying a lot because the competition is pretty fierce. I've got my sperm mirror wall over there. I've got my army of chairs section over there. And so for this to beat those out, I mean, that means something. As a matter of fact, my experience with these wall slats was so good that after I purchased them with my money, after I installed them, after I did all of that, so none of this is sponsored, nothing was sent over by the Wood Veneer Hub, I actually reached out to the Wood Veneer Hub and asked if I could be an affiliate because I believe in their product, right? That's how much I like these things. So if you wanna pick up anything, please consider using the link in the description below. You can also use my code for 5% off. Doing so really helps this channel a lot. There are a number of pros and cons that you should consider before picking these up, and let's start with the pros. So, the first pro is the most obvious. These things look great in any room. It'll take any room and bring it up to an 11 in terms of aesthetics. As a matter of fact, if you go ahead and take a plant and drop it in front of this wall, you'll immediately become an interior decoration god to all of your peers. Now, I am in a corporate setting, right? This is an office building. And anytime somebody walks by my room and my door is open and they see this, they immediately stop in their tracks and they go, whoa, they see these walls. They're like, man, that changes the total feel of this room from a cold corporate building office place to a warm, inviting, almost like a home-like setting. It's it's that good. Another pro is that these boards, this is a single panel by the way, they are lightweight and they are very, very durable. As you can see, I can hold it one hand here, do some exercises just to show off. But my biggest fear with this was that, hey, is it gonna be flimsy? Am I gonna need two people to carry it around at all times? Now you definitely will need a minimum of two people to install these things, but the fact that only one person is needed to move around the panel makes installation move a lot faster. The next pro is that these wall panels have sound deadening properties. If you look at this chart that they published here, these wall panels absorb high frequencies, or in other words, high pitched noises. So it'll sound like you went through puberty twice. <laughs> In all seriousness, it'll absorb high-pitched noises like babies crying, dogs barking, witches cackling, etc., etc. The next pro is that in some cases, it can be very, very easy to install. So again, this is a single panel, and in my case, I did not need to cut down any of my panels down in length. So all of them were mounted just like this, a little bit off of the ground, but there were some moments where I did need to make them a little bit skinnier, and it was super easy to do. I took a box cutter, I cut through the felt all the way down, putting it on some cardboard so I didn't cut up whatever was underneath it, and super easy to do, and I had to do that twice, one at the end there and one at a shorter wall on the right over there. Now there was a slightly more difficult cut I needed to do which was cutting a hole for the outlet here and I have zero woodworking skills but I was able to take a jigsaw and cut that out really easily super duper easy to do and because these have a black felt backing I did make a mistake I cut the hole a little too big but I was able to take black electric tape and cover up any additional extra cut that I had there really easy to do if you get the gray felt backing you can probably do the same with like duct tape or some kind of other gray tape the next pro is that there are multiple ways you can install these slats onto your wall there are three main ways the first one is the easiest with construction glue. You can slather it on the back here and then slam it on your wall and you are good to go. Now, while it's the easiest, the downside is that if you use glue and you ever want to uninstall these things, it's going to be very, very difficult to do. And if you ever were to move and you wanted to take these panels with you because they're not cheap, well, again, much, much more difficult to do. The other two methods involve screws, but one of them is much harder, in my humble opinion, than the other. So the second method, and the harder of the two, is by taking these slats, putting it on the wall, finding studs, and drilling it straight into the stud. Now, that doesn't sound super complex, but let me explain why it is in just a second. The third method is by taking wood that you'd buy at Home Depot, perhaps like a one by two, and then creating external studs. So what that means is you would go and use a stud finder, find all the studs along your wall, and then you would take a like a one by two board, and then you would basically drill this into the studs on your wall, creating an external stud. And then from there, you would take this external stud 
and then take your wall panel and then drill it basically anywhere where the external stud was. Now, that sounds a little bit more complicated, but I promise you it's much easier to do here. Why? Well, the website, Wood Veneer Hub, is a little misleading. It says that a single panel is 96 inches by 25 inches wide, but this is not 25 inches wide. What it means is that in the box, you're gonna get a total of 25 inches worth of panel. That means you're getting two of these panels and a single one is only about 12 and a half inches wide. Now, why is that an issue? Well, in America, the average distance between studs is 16 inches. So 12 inches, 16 inches. And if you're unlucky and you get a stud that lands on one side or the other, well, it's gonna be really hard to get it flush on the wall. So how do you get it flush on the wall? Well, you need to take a drywall screw now and then you would have to put that into the wall. But this is a black felt, you can't see through the wall. On top of that, drilling through felt means that once it's in that position, it's kind of stuck there. So having to hold it level while trying to create drywall studs can be pretty, pretty complicated. That's why I say I think it would be much easier if you created external studs and then drilled directly into them because you know exactly where the stud is. You can drill pretty much anywhere into this as long as you're on the external stud. Also, I believe by creating that like external stud here, you actually get better sound deadening properties out of your wood panels. If you're liking this video, please help me engage more people on YouTube by liking this video. Get subscribed if you like chairs, desk setups, and tech. And leave a question or comment down below. I do my best to read all of them. I do my best to answer all of them. Your support really, really helps a lot. I really appreciate it. Some cons that I think you should be really aware of is first, when I look at these wall panels straight on for a long period of time, I find that my eyes get a little bit wonky. So to prevent this, you can use less wall slats like a punk or you can get things to break up some of these vertical lines. For example, you can get a piece of art of your wall slats turned the other way. No, no, no. In all seriousness, using art, using a bench, using a TV, all of these things can help break up those vertical lines, making it much nicer on the eyes. The next con is that these wall slats require a minimum of two people to install. So your mom telling you all those years to play nicely with others was all leading up to this moment. I hope you didn't screw it up. The next con is that remember how I said in some situations these are really easy to install? Well, in some situations, it can be much more complicated. For example, if you have angled walls, if you have shorter walls than 96 inches, if you have taller walls than 96 inches, if you have a concrete back, all of those things add complexity to the project. It's gonna take more time, it's gonna require more tools, all the things which I suck at, and so you might wanna take those things into consideration before picking these up. The final con is the price. This is an extremely long wall and the wall slats cost me about $3,000. That is not cheap, but as I said before, it's totally transformed the feel of this cold, stuffy office into a warm, inviting studio. And it's now an instantly Instagrammable wall. I put up pictures and everything just looks so much better. As a matter of fact, I have people that walk through this building and they pause and they're kind of like, hey, can we actually borrow your studio? We will pay you because that's how good this wall looks. So I think it can transform any home. It it doesn't require all the mental power of what should I do with this wall. You just slap these wood panels up and you're good to go. So yes, expensive, but I think totally worth it. That's gonna do it for this one, everybody. If you wanna support the channel again, like, subscribe, leave a comment, question down below. I do my best to answer them. Until next time, stay safe and as always, stay honest.